Okay, so Jamie Burke, you're my lawn coach, and I want to renovate this part of my lawn. The question for a lot of homeowners and me is, how much topsoil do I order? Okay, this is, it's actually pretty easy. It doesn't have to be scientific. Okay. What I'm gonna have you do is pace out your lawn. Okay. We wanna calculate the, the length and width to come up with a square footage. Okay, so I'm just gonna starting point. walk out and get a rough estimate of how long and how wide the area is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I walked out 10 by six feet and you multiply those two together, that's 600 square feet. Yes. So now how do I think, so how much soil do I need for 600 square feet? If you were to go a full inch on 600 square feet, that would be one cubic yard. A full so, inch is a lot of soil on top of this. It's a lot. You would never go a full inch on a lawn. It would be uh, a half inch at most. Okay, top grass to half inch. Yes. But I don't have to do the math because if I go to your website, you have a little calculator right there that helps me figure this out. Yes, so what you do is it will ask you the same thing to pace out. Mm -hmm. You plug your numbers in and the depth of, of the project. So for a lawn, you're gonna half inch at okay. most. It's gonna spit out a number for you. All right. And then um, from there, you'll, you probably wanna order a little extra. Okay. Uh, it's always good to have a little extra compost on hand because you'll need it. Right. And, uh, and then that gives us a good estimate of how much product to order so that we can use it all up in one season and get our lawns off to a great start. Yes. So, and it, you really can do each section of your lawn and just add it together and then plug your numbers in. Oh, so I would just measure this one section and, and then now go to I the, add that to the next irregular shape section. Exactly. And that'll give me a good estimate. And what is most people for an average size lawn of like 2,000 square feet, what do most people order? What do you need? Uh, three yards. Three, three yards, yards. Is, is about right. Three yards mm -hmm. of topsoil and then your lawn will be gorgeous. Three yards of topsoil or if you're going straight compost, straight one or the compost. other. Straight compost, great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you get three yards delivered to your home and you don't use it all right away because that's, that's a lot of soil to spread, um, Tell me about storage while you're waiting to use it. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good question and it's good to plan ahead. Um, I recommend having a tarp down where the material is gonna be dropped. Okay. And then, you know, if the weather's sunny and you're gonna start right away, you're fine. Mm -hmm. But if you get it delivered on a Wednesday and you don't have time until Saturday, you definitely wanna cover it for a couple reasons. Uh, wet soil is, is heavier to move. Okay. Um, and it's, it's just plain harder to work with to get it okay. to spread. And if, if you get busy and you don't get back to it for three weeks, well, you wanna protect it from weed seed blowing in. Oh, so a covered pile of soil is gonna yes. have less weeds because the seeds won't blow in on it. Yes, exactly. Now, the, the soil is gonna come without weed seed in it. Um, it's, it's a clean soil, but it's, it's nutrient rich. So if you have a natural area, you know, surrounding your property where weed seed may blow around. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's just a good idea to keep your piles covered. Yes. And one more thing it does, it keeps out the cats. <laughs> the cats, yes. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie.